Hey everybody, Brian Gutekunst joins us from the NFL Combine. And Brian, the signs all over the place say, next is here. <laughs> How are the Packers positioned for next? Yeah, we're, we're excited. Obviously, this is a big, big period of time for us. The Combine is very, very important for us. So uh, we just got out of draft meetings. Obviously, we've had free agency meetings. So as we go through this and, and gather this information here this week, it really starts to allow us to make the decisions that we need to make. Aaron Rodgers remains in the headlines. And from what you said so far, everything concerning Aaron is on the table. He's going through his process and we respect that. Um, we have not had a chance to really have the kind of conversations we need to have before we move forward. So we're hopeful to have those soon and, and then we'll, we'll make those decisions. But, um, you know, he does have a process that he takes some time in and, and that's where he's at right now. Something that's also clear from what you've said at the Combine so far, Jordan Love is ready. Yeah, I think I think the one thing that I think this, this year showed us is he needs to play. That's his next step kind of in his progression. All quarterbacks and players in general, you know, get to a point where that's the next step and that's where he's at. And uh, he's really worked hard and it's a credit to him uh, how he's progressed over this the last couple of years. Let's get back to what you're here for, the Combine. How does this particular draft class match up for the needs you anticipate? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's we're early in the process. Um, there's a number of players that would really fit kind of our profile. And uh, so I think it's this will be a good draft to, to help the Green Bay Packers. Position-wise, where might it be strong or not so strong? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the tight end class looks like a little deeper than maybe it has been in the past. It just seems to be like a deeper class than, than it has been uh, at the edge rusher position, you know, along with corner. I think uh, um, we've seen more numbers maybe than we have um, all the time. If what I'm reading is accurate, you suddenly have some salary cap room. Is that the case? I don't know if Russ Ball would like me to say we have much room. Um, I would say we've gotten under the salary cap and, and we're working towards, you know, kind of the things we need to do to make sure that if there are opportunities out there in free agency uh, moving forward that we could, we could capitalize on them. Now you have had great success signing the not so famous free agents. I'm thinking of Keyshawn Nixon, Devondre Campbell. What's the key to that success? You know what, I give a lot of credit to, to uh, Richmond Williams, John Wojciechowski, our pro scouting staff, they do a great job. Um, we have a process we believe in very much. And I think the, the key to that is just is working that process each and every day and, and understanding the opportunities that um, present themselves. You, you know, it's, it can be at any time and um, sometimes you're ready to make that opportunity work for you, sometimes you're not. Um, but it's gotta be a process each and every day and those, those guys do a great job at it. I want to ask you about a couple of parts of your current team. One big part, Rashawn Gary, how is his progress health-wise? Yeah, all the reports are really good. Obviously, when he left here, we thought he was doing a great job, and, and uh, he, we have a lot of confidence in people he's working with. You know, Rashawn is a unique individual in the fact of how hard he works, and, and that, uh, that is not something that we, um, we worry about too much. I also want to ask you about the secondary, because you've got some free agents at safety, you have some position flexibility with Rasul Douglas, Darnell Savage. How do you see that settling in when the time comes? Yeah, I love the versatility of those guys and their ability to do different things. Uh, the goal will be at the end of it to have the best five guys out there. You know, it's really a nickel, you know, lead nickel defense league, and um, whether you know who plays slot, who plays in, you know safety. Um, I think we'll really be determined through camp and, and how things with the new, whatever new additions we might make. But I think the goal is to have the best five and those two particular guys you mentioned to have enough flexibility to do a number of things and that's, that's helpful. Brian, when it's all said and done and you wind up drafting a class this year that's as good as the class you drafted last year, it's a pretty darn good class, isn't it? Yeah, that? I think it certainly would be. I thought the guys that we, we took last year really fit into the team well. I, I lo love the way they worked and capitalized on the opportunities that they had and learned from the mistakes that they made. Um, so it was a good group and I'm re really excited for their growth into year two. Um, but if we could follow that up with a similar class, I think we'd all be happy. Brian, thanks for the time and have a great week. Thanks, Larry, appreciate it.